Hey, this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. Jesus uses this word mammon a couple of different times in the Gospels. The Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Luke. He says, No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon. So Jesus is making a distinction here between God and something else. And what is that something else? Mammon is a word that is often used to refer to money or material wealth. So possessions, things that we have. Um, it's what we put our trust in, whether it's in God or in mammon, in money, in material things. And if you think about it, it makes a whole lot of sense to what Jesus is saying. Because on this earth, in this world, we often are tempted by mammon. We're tempted by accumulation of wealth, of money, of material goods to provide for us comfort. Whether that's having enough money to pay for the bills, save for retirement, you know, pay for college, whatever that might be. It's easy to be tempted by mammon, to worship mammon, if you will, to be able to put our trust, our faith in what we own as opposed to God. And if we're not careful, if we put our trust in mammon, in material wealth, in money, we will become a slave to that desire. So it may not even start out as this desire to be greedy and have all these possessions. It may be from a place of fear, of worry. And what Jesus is saying is that if we're not careful, we can become a slave to mammon. Again, you can't serve two masters. You can't serve both God and mammon because mammon will enslave you. That desire for wealth, material goods will enslave you. But God, when we put our trust in God, we are set free because our service to God allows us to be free from worry, free from doubt, free from fear of, of being uncomfortable, free from that fear of not being loved, for not owning enough things, for not having the nice car, the nice house, etc. That when we put our trust in God, He will take care of us. So this, these passages about mammon are all about whether or not we can place our trust in eternal God or are we going to let ourselves become enslaved to the desire for money, material things that we think are going to provide for us, that we think are going to be there for us um, to prevent bad things from happening? Really, it's God that we put our trust in instead. That's what this passage means about mammon. Mammon simply means money, material wealth and that we put our trust in other than God. And as Jesus says, we can't put our trust in mammon and in God. We have to choose one or the other. Go make disciples. God bless.